Hi, my name is Kai from Spitfire Audio, and today we're going to run through a really cool library made by Not Cultural Ensemble called Tape Percussion. This includes a lot of rare and classic sounds from African and Caribbean culture. Everything in this library was recorded to tape at the legendary Iowa Studios and were done by Edward Wakili Hick, Anomi Edgeworth, and Joseph Dean Mamode. This library is filled with percussion and drum kit one shots, dub inspired warps, and percussion tempo synced loops. Without further ado, let's get into it. So as you know, with every library that we release, we include an expression fader, a dynamic fader, and the big knob on the right, which includes changeable parameters such as reverb, release, tape saturation, and attack. Definitely the most fun fader to play around with is the dynamic fader, as it allows you to go through a processed signal and a clean signal. So our 100% is processed, 0% is clean, and the 100% process signal is an effect signal that was recorded at our studios. Okay, so let me demonstrate to you the clean signal. But if I bring this fader all the way up to 100%, this is how it sounds like. So as you can tell, it's a completely different sound to the clean sound. It's, it's essentially like two different libraries in one. It's very cool. Um, and you know, these, it's, it can still almost be used as drums, but a lot of it sounds almost just like different effects now. So it also runs through different kind of like round robins. So like I'm playing this three different times and each different time is playing a different sound. Like that's really cool like and that's just the one sound that's just the let's see what sound it is at zero percent it's just a tom but on 100 percent, you know it's, it's it changes into a completely different thing there's also tape saturation which essentially adds a distortion to the sound bring it to a hundred percent get this kind of distorted sound So this can be added to, you know, your drums if you wanted to, if you want to get these really crunchy sounding drums. So onto Acoustic Kit 2. This sounds more like a jazz kit to me. So when I'm playing it, I would essentially use it for jazz inspired pieces. So onto Acoustic Kit 3, this includes a lot more percussive elements to it. Um, it's still a normal drum kit, but this includes a lot more percussion sounds in the tail end. So it has shakers and other cool sounds. And then we have Acoustic Kit 4, which I really like. Uh, how the sounds sound at 50%. So I already have them set at 50%. Let me add some reverb as well. I already feel very inspired by using this. Like just discovering different things. Like that's really cool. Whoa. Okay, that was really cool. Like that little ring out. Uh, let's get onto the electronic drum kit. So this sounds more to me like, you know, your classic. 808 kind of sounding drums. So moving on to the next section of the library, we have the kit loops and this is drum loop five. Um, so these loops are tempo synced to whatever your project is, you know, set to. What we've done this time is essentially we have the original recording all intact and then we stemmed out um, each part or each percussion instrument, each rhythm out into separate keys. So this is the original untouched, not stemmed out uh, recording. So. so that is the original um, loop. And if I play any other of the notes that is highlighted down here, um, it will give you the stemmed out tracks of that loop. So it's 
So we've got snare, kick, and what is that? Like a, I think that might be a go-go. Like a little shaker. Um, so the next sound is drum loop seven. This one sounds really, really interesting to me. The rhythms is very unique sounding to me. Like, that's like insane sounding like that's there's a lot going on in that one so like that's that's really cool um and yeah let me show you the separate sounds that's so cool um, <laughs> well, that actually got me like excited, but um, yeah. Anyways, obviously, um, you can play, you can play these loops in any kind of combination that you want to. So now we're in a percussion section of the library, and this has six different patches to it. It is inspired or is fo more mainly focused uh, on West African percussion instruments, and was all performed by different members of the group. So yeah, these are like a really amazing sounds for like people that want to, you know, just add really cool percussion to their music that I like to add um, percussion, a lot of percussion into my, my music because I like the the air candy aspect. I really like the, um, the texture that it creates in my music. So playing around with this library or playing around this section, especially like, it really like excites me because it's like, I know for a fact that I'm going to use a lot of these. So yeah, let me show you percussion six as well. One thing about this library is that everything's recorded so cleanly. So it's like, it really jumps out of you. You can hear everything like really clear. Let me show you guys the process signal of these as well. kind of flanger on it or something that sounds really cool that, that reminds me of like a cartoon like um like sound effect or something like that like that sounds really cool so this section is atmospheres and it features drum atmosphere one and drum atmosphere two and it is essentially the original recordings of the drum kits and percussion but looped and with effects got this looping shaker it'll start to loop again yep if i play two notes we got you got the shaker and you now you've got this kind of symbol in the back and it, this will loop forever it's creating an atmosphere but you can play like a bunch of different notes at the same time as well and it will sound chaotic but it sounds really cool at the same time It's something that can be added to the background of your piece or something that can be added to like maybe a breakdown section that just you want it to give off a certain atmosphere or a certain vibe. We can go to drum kit atmosphere two. I'm gonna show you singular notes as well again. And then I'll give you um, a bunch of notes at the same time. So 
this one obviously focuses a lot more on the drum kit itself. Um, the first one was more uh, focusing on percussion uh, instruments. So if I play a bunch at the same time. It's literally absolute chaos. Like that sounds insane, but that, that part there where it was like kind of building up, like it sounds so cool to me, like. It's just insane. Um, you can just do like a lot with with this section. Like every every combination sounds different, so definitely play around with that, and you you'll find something cool. I guarantee it. So this last section of the library is named Tonal Warps, and it includes tuned drum and percussion hits that have been turned into eight weights and synths and pads and you know basically melodic sounds. So. The first sound I want to show you is tuned kick two. So as you can hear, it's a kick that has been that has been tuned. So if I play like a, a random chord or you know, if you wanted to, you could use it as a melodic feature to your music. So the next sound we have is snare blip, and this is one of my favorite sounds from the library. It gives off like a marimba vibe, like it sounds like a marimba to me. It's made from a snare, snare blip, and uh, yeah, this is 100% processed. The next sound I want to show you guys is bass pluck, and this sound is again one of my favorites. sound almost kalimba one cool thing about this patch is the lighter you touch the more clean you get that kalimba sound so if i play really softly it sounds like a natural normal maybe kalimba sound but as soon as i press really hard or increase the velocity we get a different sound completely it almost sings out or rings out it resonates so on to the last sound in tonal warps and this is mayhem kit loops so this is almost reminiscent of the um atmosphere uh, side of the the library but i think this is like much more chaotic really interesting how like once you kind of warp a sound it kind of gives off an like to me the sound is a bit more airy and like it's almost like static in the head like it's very quite jarring but it's 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 really like interesting it's like whoa like so much going on but it's like really cool uh, let's see how it sounds with 100 processed on it more chaos <laughs> so now i want to show you guys an example of how i use the process signal on acoustic kit free and it uses originals intimate grand piano I really hope that these sounds inspired you because they really did inspire me and I think that it would be an amazing addition to like any producer or composer's toolkit 
whether it's wanting to add really cool rare percussion sounds to a piece or whether it's just wanting to delve out of your comfort zone and make something that you've never made before. I think this library will definitely inspire you to do so. Yeah, and I just really hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. Thank you for joining me today and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.